All right, so let's briefly cover how you can actually monetize a YouTube channel for this actual business, all right? So here are the main requirements. As you can see here, we're literally on the Google website that tells you all this stuff. So live in a country slash region where obviously the program is available. I would just click here if that's, you know, if you're, if you're in a country where you think it might not be, click here, check the relative countries and obviously see if that's something for you. But the majority of the world, obviously you can do this and monetize a channel. There might only be slight countries that this doesn't apply to. Okay. Have no community guideline strikes on your channel. If you're uploading your own videos or you're not copying someone else's stuff, this shouldn't really apply to you. Have more than 4,000 hours of valid public watch hours. Have more than 1,000 subscribers and then obviously link your AdSense account, okay? None of this stuff really matters. It just boils down to 1,000 subscribers, 4,000 hours of watch time, and no reused content, all right? So basically, you have to create your own videos or you have to have somebody create them for you. You can't monetize a channel simply by taking somebody else's videos and then uploading them onto your channel, okay? You used to be able to do that. They're cracking down on that. You can't do that anymore. You need original content. You need 4,000 hours of watch time and 1,000 subscribers. You hit all those, you'll get monetized, all right? So there are actually no shortcuts, obviously, but that's why short shortcuts is in quotes, but these things will kind of accelerate the process for you in the beginning, okay? Because it can seem like it's a long process, but if you do it consistently, you upload like a video a day here and there, and you just chip away at it, it will happen a lot faster than you think. So here are some not so short shortcuts that can help accelerate the process, all right? First and foremost is use YouTube Shorts, okay? YouTube Shorts are typically gonna get you a lot more views than normal YouTube videos will, okay? And they'll also bring you in a lot more subscribers. So you can grow a channel relatively fast and get a lot of subscribers and a lot of views very, very quickly using YouTube Shorts, okay? So basically all you need to do for a YouTube Short is you create that tall video like you see on TikTok or you see on Instagram Reels. So basically you want your video to look like this, right? It's 1080 by 1920 instead of the opposite, which is 1920 by 1080p, which is sideways, which is normal YouTube video. If you have a tall video that's 1080 by 1920 pixels and it's under a minute, it will be qualified for YouTube Shorts and obviously that will get you a lot more views over the long haul. Now, key caveat here is you can't actually use YouTube shorts toward your watch time, right? So while the, the views and the watch time that you get on your YouTube shorts will not go to the 4,000 hours of watch time needed to monetize your channel, that's a key distinction there, right? While it won't go to the 4,000 hours of watch time needed to monetize your channel, it will help you accumulate views, get introduced to a new audience, build up subscribers, which will then all get suggested your normal videos as well, okay? So, you wanna use YouTube Shorts to grow your channel, build up your subscriber base, get more views and introduce your content to a new audiences, but then also be creating normal videos as well because those normal videos are gonna get served to other people, but also the people that engaged with your YouTube Shorts, okay? So YouTube Shorts is a really easy way to blow up a channel fast and help you get to 4,000 hours of watch time and 1,000 subscribers, even though that the watch time accumulated on those videos won't directly contribute to the 4,000 hours, hours of watch time, it will indirectly contribute because those people will then get suggested your other videos as well, okay? The next thing I wanna to touch on is your focus and, and, and what you're basically the next thing I want to touch on is your mentality and your strategy when you're initially starting, right? So you want to build up a catalog of videos first. Your main goal shouldn't be to monetize a channel as fast as possible in the beginning, because that can get discouraging when you realize that it's not going to happen in a few weeks or a month potentially, right? Instead, your main goal should be to create a catalog of quality videos so that when people do actually finally discover a video of yours, you already have other videos that they can then watch as well, and that will contribute to longer session time. So they'll come on, they'll find one of your videos, then they'll look at your channel, which is typically what most people have, if they like your content, of course, and they'll watch other videos that you already have up, assuming that you have a catalog of other quality videos as well, and they'll also potentially subscribe, okay? So each video will get you an audition for a new viewer, but then if you don't have another, a, a, a lot of other videos that are quality on your channel, it's gonna end there, okay? You want that long session time, that will help blow your channel up. And if you do all of those things and you build up that catalog, one day your channel might just skyrocket and it'll blow up 
not because of one video specifically, but because you built up that catalog, right? Now, if you have a video that goes viral or even semi-viral or even gets a little bit of traction, but you haven't built up the other catalog of good videos on your channel already, it is almost a waste of that video being successful because then you won't have that session time, okay? Now, I also broke this down extremely well in another video that I did recently, so here's exactly what I said. Yes, these software programs will make it so much easier, but ultimately, it still will take some time and some effort to get monetized, but it's worth it. What most new creators don't understand about YouTube is that in the beginning, you're simply just trying to build up a collection of good videos around a certain topic. Most of these videos won't get any traction, and that can certainly be discouraging. But what typically happens is if someone finds your video, if they like it, of course, they subscribe and then binge watch all your other videos as well. That means your main goal in the beginning should be to simply create a collection of good quality videos. Each video will get you an audition with a new potential view but if you don't have any other good videos, their session will end on that video and your channel won't get the exponential growth that it could have. That means that once you have a decent amount of videos up, all it takes is one of your videos to get a little bit of traction and it could help blow up your entire channel. So don't get discouraged in the beginning if you're not getting immediate results. Understand that that's to be expected and it's almost by design that way. The more quality videos that you put out, the better chance you have of increasing subs, watch time, and getting binge sessions across multiple videos. And that will signal to YouTube to give more visibility to your content because it keeps viewers watching on YouTube longer, which ultimately will be a snowball effect and help blow your channel up.